Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Studio Art. I'm your instructor, Mr. Schwartz. And in today's lesson, we're gonna learn all about how to draw the human figure. We're first gonna start out with a general overview of all the steps involved in drawing the human figure, and then we'll get into the specifics of each step. Let's take a look. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about um, what the steps of uh, our figure drawing are. Okay, so the way that the general approach to figure drawing is to start with a simplified uh, representation of the skeleton called the gesture drawing. The general idea of drawing the figure is to start from the inside to the outside, which means that we wanna build up our figure from the most basic skeletal structure to the skin and the details and all that being the very last step. And in between is the filling in of masses and form of our body. So here is our gesture drawing in the first step here in this one and in this one, okay? We're gonna go into more detail of what the gesture drawing is, but um, what it does do is give you a, all the information you need in a very quick drawing or sketch that has the angle and direction of the pose and where the basic proportions are. So it has a lot of information in a very quick sketch and it is the foundation of what you build your form off of. So we can start to see that once we start with our basic skeletal um, gesture drawing, that we start to build the forms into and around the gesture drawing. Um, one tip to drawing figure drawing is where it starts at the higher joint, let's just say, take the upper arm, for example, uh, from the um, shoulder, it's wider and your arms and legs, upper and lower, always get more narrow as it reaches the next joint. So your upper arm is wider at the shoulder and gets more narrow at the elbow. And then your um, lower arm gets wider at the elbow and more narrow at the wrist. So those are the general shapes of most of your body parts will start out wide and start to get a little more narrow as they go down. The hip, of course, between the upper body and the pelvis is going to um, get more narrow and then go out again. But I digress. I'm just going to give you an overview without getting too specific at this point, like I've been doing. Um, so here are the general steps. You're going to do gesture, you're going to fill in the form, and then with each um, new layer, you're going to connect more lines, add more details and more information, and then build it up to the most external layers. Okay, so I'm going to show you a video um, that's not going to have any sound. It's just going to show you the basic steps of how to build a figure up, and then we'll get into the more specific. So, um, Let's go here. Okay. All right, so we're going to play this video. All right, and just take a look at how the artist is doing this is and, and also the speed in which he's uh, doing this. Um, this has all of the requisite um, information that you need to um, build a figure, starting at the gesture drawing, building in the forms. Um, this artist goes to the first couple steps, the last step being um, the external layer, skin, clothing, details. Um, this artist brings you up to that point and shows you all the steps. I want you to um, pay attention that what, they're, what the artist is doing is the dividing the figure into sections. And each of these sections are basically hollow three-dimensional uh, forms. You can see the way that there is an ellipse here that shows that it is um, basically just a section. The joints like the, new, the um, knees and the shoulders are kind of floating in between the thighs and the shins here. And same with the shoulders and the elbows. These will be connected later, but we wanna draw those essential masses uh, in between. Remember that it's always wider at the top and more narrow going down. Like here, it's more narrow than it is here. And um, that we're really showing um, accurate depiction of what the form, the muscle, and the body is around the skeleton or the gesture.
Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a different video. And what this is going to do is uh, show you the most specific steps of how to create a gesture drawing from the first step to the last. So let's go there now. Actually, I'm just going to let me see here. I'm going to go there from here. All right, let's blow this up. Okay, and we're going to pay attention to the steps here. This is all about gesture drawing, and let's take a look. All right, so um, the first thing that uh, they're going to show you is a, a drawing in perspective using planes okay, like this, and then we'll get into the steps. So when you're drawing form, uh, whether it's a building or a person, when they exist in real space, there is the laws of perspective that are applied where what is closer to you is going to be larger and as it goes back, it gets smaller. So the first part in the very first step of a gesture drawing is the line of action. The line of action gives the most basic information of how the figure is curved or um, bent or angled. All right, so this is just basic information that um, will tell you, is your figure standing straight up vertically? Are they uh, leaning back? Are they leaning forward? Are they leaning to the side? So this is a simple curved line. This curved line represents only the space between the neck and beneath the pelvis. It does not include the length of the legs and it does not have arms. So the first step is to create the line of action. The second step is going to be the angles of axis. And I'll tell you more about this. Or axis lines, I call them. Okay. So uh, these axis lines here represent the uh, collarbone and the shoulders, which would be represented in ovals, will be on either end of this axis line, collarbone. So one would be here, one would be here. So we would draw our upper body from beneath this line, the collarbone, and um, it would come back not to this line, but just um, with a little space above it. What this space between this line and the upper body will be the stomach. The stomach is not usually drawn in a gesture drawing, only from the collarbone to the bottom of the rib cage, and then from the, the pelvis. All right, so collarbone, this is the top of the pelvis and the pelvis is drawn beneath it. Both of the rib cage and the pelvis are drawn in ovals and these are called filling in the masses, which is our next step. Okay, so let's go back here. All right, so as I said, um, these lines of access here, the upper body, which in, encompasses both the pectorals and the rib cage, are represented in this top mass here. The pelvis is represented, which is below the second angle or access line right here. The legs are then going to come out from the pelvis. The shoulders are going to come from either end of the top angle access line, which is going to be here. And um, this is the head, and then this line here is the neck in between the collarbone and the head, all right? So line of action, angles of shoulder and hip, and filling in the masses. Those are the basics. From there, you do the legs, because the legs themselves may be turned in a different direction. They may have different lines of action, all right? So you're, you, might, you might have to go through these steps again for the legs and arms because your central body may be twisting in a different way from your arms and your legs, okay? All right, so this is the very basics and I'm gonna have you go back and watch these videos in their entirety, all right? There's a third video I'm gonna have you watch as well, but we'll get into that when we talk about the assignments, which is coming next. So um, I'm gonna go back to my presentation and we're gonna get into it, okay. So what we're gonna do first, this is a summary of gesture drawing because the gesture drawing is really the most important part of um, the figure drawing because it's the foundation in which everything else is built. So a gesture drawing is laying in the action form and pose of a model or figure. The, it's a typical, uh, the typical situation involves an artist drawing a series of poses taken by a model in a short amount of time 
often as little as 10 seconds or as long as five minutes. So you wanna capture the most amount of information in the least amount of time. The first step is to draw your central line of action that describes the position and angle of the pose. Your second step is to draw two axis lines that describe your figure's abdomen um, or upper body. The first line will represent the angle of the collarbone. The second line will show where not, uh, where the, this is actually not entirely um, correct, not where the bottom of the rib cage is. The second one shows where the top of the pelvis is. Remember that there is a space between the upper body and where the pelvis is, and that's where the stomach's gonna go. The collarbone line should start beneath where you want your figure's neck to end, all right? So you want, to, you want that first angled line to start um, beneath where you want your neck to end. The third step is the masses. Fill in the correct size oval or shape for the head, the upper body, um, and that's the space between the collarbone and the bottom of the rib cage, and a third mass to represent the pelvis. Um, you're also gonna use, and this is the fourth step, ovals to represent the shoulders, the joints, um, such as elbows and knees, hands and feet. And you're also going to put in the legs and the arms. Remember that the legs and the arms may have their own line of action, okay? So you wanna see that uh, where they're bending and moving separate from the body, okay? So those are all the steps, go back and review that. Here are the materials. So you want to, you can get away with just using one pencil, but of course a variety of hard and soft leads, H and B um, will give you more uh, information and uh, like you could sketch with the light, with the um, light pencils, which are the harder lead. And then as you build the drawing up and want to put harder lines, you could switch to softer, darker leads, which will give you um, more emphasis on the lines you want to show. Light blue colored pencils are something I'd suggest but are optional. Now that just gives you a, a softer and lighter layer to sketch your gesture and then you can switch to regular pencil to build on top of that. So it gives you another layer to work with. Ink, um, once you're done with uh, some of the finishes on these, I want you to draw your main lines with ink so they stand out above all of the gesture and the construction lines. Eraser. Um, you're going to be asked in the final drawing to erase any construction lines, gesture, or sketches. So you can use it for that. Um, you can also use it as a tool for shading. And then in your final drawing, you're going to be including color. So let's move on to the assignments. Your assignment one, um, you're going to be practicing and just getting the hang of the steps of building up a figure from looking at an image, all right? So there is a video that's attached and it's called Angles, a drawing tutorial, figure drawing tutorial, angles and proportion, male and female, all right? Figure drawing tutorial, angle and proportions, male and female. You're gonna watch that. The artist narrator is drawing four examples from, a, a, from a photographs. The photographs are pictured in the photograph, in the, I'm sorry, video. And her demonstration of drawing is right next to it. What I want you to do is to follow along, choose one of the four, follow along with her step by step and drawing um, the picture you also see in the video. So you'll both be drawing from the same picture. You're gonna choose one of the four and when you submit it, you're gonna tell me which one you chose, the first, the second, the third, or the fourth, okay? Watch a video, follow along with one of the four. So that's assignment one. Assignment two is you're gonna find three poses yourself, okay? I won't be providing it. It'll be whatever you want. Um, this can be realistic figure drawing, um, or it could be something that uh, is uh, from somebody else's artwork, an animation, um, a character that's already whatever you want to find. Um, as long as you're accurately representing the pose that you see, it doesn't need to be absolutely realistic. So you're going to start with the same exact um, steps. You're going to take these poses and then you're going to break these um, already photographed or drawn figures down to their basic element. You're going to deconstruct them. You're going to take the image. You're going to start with your central line of axis, uh, your central line of action, 
you're gonna add your access lines, which represent the collarbone and the top of the pelvis. You're gonna add your masses. You're gonna continue building up to its final form, okay? So in the end, it should, it should look um, similarly proportioned and, um, and just as the poses you're, um, you're drawing from. So this could either be each on its own page or on the same page. It's totally up to you. But when you submit this, I will ask that you include both the original image that you're drawing from and your artwork. So both of those are included. Assignment three is you're gonna create your own character from imagination. You're going to take one page and you're gonna divide it into two halves. You can fold it in half. The first half is you're going to um, draw the front view of your character. You're gonna draw lines, and I believe that you have some practice in this when you were learning um, how to draw the front and side view of a skull during the skull assignment. You're gonna draw the front view on one side and from the different um, uh, sections of the figure, uh, where the top and bottom of the head are, where the top and bottom of the neck, where the um, upper body, lower body, the upper parts, you're going to draw an aligned version of a side view. So you're gonna take your front view on the left side, your side view on the right side, and these should be aligned. If you don't know what it means to have a front and side view aligned, there are pr plenty of examples on the internet. You can Google front and side view aligned um, on Google images or whatever you want, but that's the way I'm gonna have you do it. So um, the proportions are exactly the same and lined up between the, the front and the side view. So those are your three assignments. Here are your deliverables. Okay, so the first assignment, one drawing from the figure drawing video tutorial, redrawn on your own paper. Tell me whether it's one, two, three, or four. Assignment two, three drawings taken from three different poses, each on their own. Okay, so you can do them each on your own papers. If you wanna fit two on one, that's fine. These should be completed with ink, shading, and color. So these are like finished drawings, all right? And then remember that you have to include the, each of the three images that you're drawing from, photos or whatever. Assignment three is two drawings on one page of a character of your own creation. The left side is the front view and the right side is the side view and these must be aligned. Okay, so these are your assignments. Um, everything you need is in this lesson. And if you have any follow-up questions, please be sure to reach me on office hours or send me a message through the Google Stream or through Google Classroom. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And until then, I will see you at the next video. Take care. Now good things don't come easy. Lord knows that I've tried.